Instead, I will speak the differences between Slovak and Romanian customers from my experience at Jim Beam. Uh, first of all, I would like to make you a short summary of my presentation. As you can see, it consists of five sections. Uh, in the first one, I will, speak, um, I will make a short resume about my company. In the second one, I will make some insights into the Romanian and Slovak e-commerce. On the third one, I will speak about competition and how competition could bring profit to an e-commerce business. Uh, on the third one, I will speak about Romanian and Slovak specifics. And last but not least, I will... Uh, make my conclusions about this present presentation. Okay, um, now I'll speak a, a little bit about my company. So probably as you all know, Jim Beam is an online store who is selling supplements, uh, clothes, functional food and accessories for fitness industry. Um, it's a Slovak based company from Košice with a logistics center in the same city. Um, it's focusing on two business models, on business to consumer and business to business. But the most important is business to consumer because most of the revenues are coming from this, uh, from, uh, from this um, area, let's say. Uh, in, this moment, in this moment, we have five online stores in Romania, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Croatia and Hungary. Um, with over 157,000 products shipped per month, with uh, over 9,000 uh, stop keeping units and uh, 124 brands in the portfolio, Jim Beam had last year a growth of 118%. Uh, on the left side, you can see our warehouse, and on the right side, you can see our head office. Uh, of course, the best uh, category uh, uh, from us is uh, the supplements one. Uh, in the upper part, you can see the best sell subcategories products. Um, proteins uh, are bringing uh, are bringing us 33% of the revenues, followed by BCAAs, amino acid, fat burners, and creatine uh, products. According to our all websites from the all five countries, our top best sellers. Uh, are True Cytec, Animal, BCAA, and Peanut Butter. In this top, we can find also three of our products, and on the first place, of course, it's our uh, proudly product called True Way. And on the fourth is the B BCAA, and on the fifth is the delicious peanut butter from Jim Beam. Uh, Cytec and Animal Flex are uh, products from other competitors. In the images, you can see example of our products. For example, you can see Protein Mac Egg Mix, you can see uh, peanut butter, dro flavor drops, uh, and so on. 2018, <laughs> a very big year for me and for Jim Beam also. Uh, with 117 million uh, uh, persons, CEE region is our main core market. As I already mentioned before, we are in uh, five countries of the region. You can see with dark blue the countries where Jim Beam is selling products in the moment. And um, with light blue are the countries where we are going to expand, expand this year. First will be Bulgaria, and second one will be Ukraine. Uh, the countries with yellow are the countries which we are going to expand in the next years. Uh, these are the ex yugoslav countries, Baltic countries, Poland, and the Belarus. What are the goals for Jim Beam? The goals for Jim Beam in the next three years are to become the first e-business in the CEE industry in the CEE region. Sorry, for the fitness industry. Um, in order to obtain more than 100 million euros, another goal is to become the first e-business in the six CEE markets already established in 11 markets. On this map, you can see Košice. It's almost in the center of CEE region. What does this mean for Jim Beam? It means the fact that it's very close to the all big markets from uh, this region. It's very close to Romania, it's very close to Ukraine, it's very close to Poland, it's very close to Czech Republic. So this is a very big opportunity also for Jim Beam or, and also for other countries which want to invest in, um, in the e-business um, type. Okay, now I make some short um, resume about the numbers from Romania, Slovakia, and Czech Republic. Probably you are asking why I 
constituted also Czech Republic uh, in these um, statistics, let's say. I think it's because uh, it's very close to you as a language and as an economic and so on. And I want to show you why um, Czech Republic um, is not the best uh, uh, choose to, to invest and why Romania could be a very good uh, place where to invest and make money. Okay. <laughs> Now I'll present you some general numbers. As you can see, from the number of the population, Romania is four times bigger than Slovakia and two times bigger than Czech Republic. This would mean that Romania has a very big potential and you can earn a lot of money only by <laughs> looking at the number of the population, of course. But we have to check also other things. And if we are speaking about e-commerce, we can see that from the international internet population point of view, Romania actually is not so big. Only half of Romania population is using internet, while in Slovakia about 85% of the population is using internet. In Czech Republic, it's similar, around 88%. If we are looking at the GDP per capita, we can see that Romania is two times less than Slovakia and Czech Republic. But returning at the e-commerce volume, we can see that Czech Republic is on the first place with 3.7 billion euros. Romania is on the second place with 1.2 billion euros. And on the first pla third place, it's Slovakia with 0 0.82 billion euros. So from these numbers, we can um, deduct that Romania is not so big as it looks like. But let's check other numbers. If we are looking here, we can see that, for example, the e-commerce on retail for Romania, it's representing only 4%. For Slovakia, it's 5.5, and for Czech Republic, it's 9%. If we are looking on the growth of the GDP, we can see something which or who will invest in Romania would like. The growth is very big from all these countries, 4.8. And if we are looking also at the growth of the e-commerce, we can see that Romania is the same on the first place. So. Actually, Romania has a lot of potential. Has a lot of potential because, uh, as I will present you in the next slides, there are not so many competitors on this business of e-commerce. Now I will tell you some stories <laughs> about Jim Beam. Why Jim Beam, for example, chose Romania? Well, if you are using a very um, easy formula, a so-called formula, Big demand and low competition could result into a profit for a company. But how you are measuring the demand and the competition? Now I will explain you how Jim Beam measured the demand. For example, probably you all, you all know that there are some tools on the internet where you can, uh, something like Colabim, where you can find how many times uh, some customers are searching for a keyword of your products. Uh, for example, we try to find out how many times Romanian customers search for the keyword protein. And we find, found out that about 9,900 uh, searches were made per month. This would mean that if you, if you are dividing the 30 days uh, as a month has, would result in 330 uh, searches per day. If from 330 searches per day, there are 10 uh, customers who are buying from your website. I think that uh, it's a very good profit for the company because we are speaking only about one product. Okay. Also, how Jim Beam measured the competition in Romania? Well, it, um, Jim Beam used four general KPIs. One of it was the penetration of AdWords. Uh, this you can use it with uh, Google Analytics. If you have an account there, you can find everything what you need. Um, well, another one was recommended bid. Also on the internet, you can find different tools, free tools where you can find um, how much you can you have to pay if a customer is um, clicking on a keyword from your website. But about this, I will explain also in the next slides. Uh, Facebook reach, which everybody knows. And Index Alexa, uh, it's like a traffic ranking where similar web competitors uh, are monitored. Um, how many people are reaching to the website, uh, how uh, important are their keywords, what strategies they use, and so on. Uh, why competition is important? 
as I said also for the other formula, also in this case, big retail prices minus low, pros uh, low cost per acquisition would result into a profit for a company. So if the competition is very low in a country, you can put very high prices and you can obtain, of course, the profit. I was speaking about recommended bid. Uh, here we have some examples for the keywords creatine and protein. Uh, if we are looking, uh, we can see that in Great Britain, if a customer will click on the keyword creatine, we, Jim Bean, if we will uh, sell products on that market, we, we would have to pay 1.98 1, 1. euro. Meanwhile, in Romania, we would have to pay 19 cents, and in Slovak Republic, we would have to pay 35 two cents. If you are looking at the protein, the things are similar. Also, we can see that in Czech Republic, it's uh, are higher prices than um, than uh, Romania and Slovak Republic. What does it mean? That in, for example, in uh, Great Britain and in Czech Republic, the competition is very big on this market, on the supplement industry. So your chances to to be successful on that market are not so big as would be, for, for example, in Romania. If we are comparing these two numbers for Romania and uh, Slovakia, also we can observe that the competition is bigger in um, Slovakia than in Romania. So with the same budget which you are using on the social media for every country, depending on the country, you can get more clicks and more, uh, more reaches and more purchases on your website. So the, so the same uh, budget in um, Great Britain uh, will not be so profitable as in Romania. As I was speaking about Index Alexa, here we have uh, other examples. Um, as I told you, Index Alexa is measuring the reaches of a uh, uh, website. Uh, the smaller number it is, the stronger competitor it is. So, we can see that in this table there are 10 competitors from Romania and Slovakia. And, um, only three are from Romania and seven from Slovakia. We can see that with 0 0.13 is the biggest competitors from Slovakia. So uh, what does this mean for e-commerce business? That you have to be very careful when you are going into a market like Slovakia. For example, if an e-business from Romania would want to invest in uh, Slovakia, would need to take care about uh, about these things and to analyze their competitors because it would not be so easy as it looks like. Okay, now I'll make some uh, insights into the Romanian and Slovak e-commerce. Um, logistics are a very important part of every business. In order to be successful, you have to have very good logistics, starting from warehouse to the courier service and so on. Uh, in this map, you can see what is the distance from Košice to the Romanian border. So, uh, as I told you previously, it's very close. Uh, by car, you can make three hours and 20 minutes, and the distance is 217 kilometers. What does this mean, for example, for Jim Beam? That we can ensure very fast delivery to the Romanian customers. We can uh, promise them like 24 hours delivery. Uh, what, this is what we are doing in this moment. Uh, also, I can present you some statistics where we can see what is the gym beam, de gym beam delivery ratio. We can see that for the all countries, the average is 98.8%, while in Romania it's only 95.8%. Why is happening this? Uh, well, there could be more reasons for Romania, starting from um, some problems with the courier company and so on. But uh, also about this, I uh, will uh, explain some things in the next slides. Okay, let's see now what are the preferred payments methods at GMBIM. Uh, the top two pay payments are cash on delivery and car payments. We can see that the average for all, for all five countries in which GMBIM is selling products is 67%. For Romania, it's 92%. So it's meaning that the Romanian usually prefer to pay by cash and they don't trust so much on the online transactions. Okay, uh, we can see now some things about mobile phone and calls. Uh, we found an interesting thing that 
for our website, the Romanians customers are reaching from their mobile phones. Uh, the customers are 71% who are reaching through the mobile phones, while in Slovakia it's only 54%. So this is a, a, a specific for, for Romanian customers. Uh, also, we have an analyze from our sales department and customer service department. Uh, in this table, we can see that um, Romania, from the total orders or of these five countries, is representing only 18%, while the all other four countries uh, are 18.2%. Uh, speaking about customer service, we can see that Romania, uh, Romanian customers are sell, uh, sending uh, emails and Facebook me messages on a level of 11% from the total. But if we are looking at the calls, we can see that Romania has a very high per percentage with 48%. So this would mean that Romanian people usually like to speak than to type. Uh, we had a situation at Jim Bin. A uh, few weeks ago, one of our partners, marketing agency UAI42, uh, told us that if we are making a small change, which is not looking very important, we'd increase our purchases with 17.4%. No, exactly. Before on the checkout, uh, the customers had to uh, fulfill some data manually. Uh, so, on the left side, you can see how it was before. We had the county which was a drop-down list, uh, for example, uh, the Košice region, you, you will select from the list Košice, and then for the city, you will have to type manually, and also for the zip code. So this returned into, for us into a problem, because sometimes the Romanian customers were typing uh, the good, of course, they were choosing the good county, but they were writing a bad city or a bad zip code. And then the packages were getting to them, very late because, of course, they were getting to a bad address and so on. And now uh, we change it and we put it also for the city a drop down list and uh, for the zip code uh, it's automatically fulfilled. So the customers will not need to type manually and a lot of mistakes will be avoided. Another specific for the Romanian customers and for the Romanian market in general is that Romania has something like two Black Fridays and something like summer Black Fridays. What are two the double Black Fridays? Well, in Romania, the most important day for the Black Friday, it's with one week before the original one. All the big players are making big promotions and all the incomes are the best in that moment. After one week, uh, the things are not so good, but there are still some competitors who are um, uh, organizing the Black Friday. Here we can see a statistic from a special website created in Romania. I don't know if you have the same in Slovakia, but in Romania there is a special website called Black Friday, and on the left part are the category of the products which you are searching, and if you are, uh, if you are clicking on one of it, you can see what uh, shops uh, are having Black Friday. Uh, about summer Black Fridays, uh, this is also something very specific for the Romanian market. Um, it's not like a um, date when it's organized a summer Black Friday. It's decided by some big players from the Romanian e-market, and uh, they are making very big discounts and on the, in that moment. Okay, another analyze from Jim Beam. Uh, we tried to find out uh, what are the top uh, products uh, sold in. Czech Republic and Slovakia and in Romania by categories. By categories, I mean by price range. The cheapest one, the middle one, and the most expensive one. We can see that in Czech and Slovakia, uh, the customers usually prefer the middle class, while in Romania, they prefer the expensive and the cheapest. I can give you an example, maybe not from supplements. I can give you from other products. So Romanian usually like to buy either Prada, either they buy to like buy clothes, something like Terra Nova. And uh, the Slovak customers usually prefer, prefer to buy something, I don't know, from H&M, if we consider it like a middle class. So this is another specific for the Romanian customers, comparing to the Slovakian. Okay, now the conclusions. Um, Romanian uh, is the fastest growing e-commerce market in the Europe and also in the CEU region. 
As you can saw on my presentation, there are a lot of specifics for, uh, for this country. And uh, as an uh, e-business, if you understand it, you can be very profitable on it. Uh, it's a big opportunity for Košice because it's right in the middle of the city region, it's very close and uh, you can ensure very good services and fast delivery. Many specifics, of course, I told you already. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and I want to make an announcement. Jim Beam is hiring, so if you are interested, you can write us at jobs.jimbeam.com and uh, we were very glad to welcome in our team. Thank you very much for your time.